From Havana, Illinois, number 40, Trevor Trimpey. For Wichita State, a six foot five junior from Columbia, South Carolina, number 25, Dwayne Prelo. For the Braves, a six foot eight senior from Nowata, Oklahoma, number 24, Donald Powell. And for the Shockers, a six foot five senior from Mount Vernon, New York, number three, Lou Hill. Center for Bradley, a six foot eight sophomore from Springfield, Illinois, number 53, Luke Jackson. And for the Shockers, a six foot ten junior from Tito Grad, Yugoslavia, number 45, Sasha Radudovic. At guard for Bradley, a six foot three senior from Chicago, Illinois, number 33, Hersey Hawkins. For the Shockers, a six foot five junior from Columbia, South Carolina, number 22, Dwight Prelo. For the Braves, a five foot 11 junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 12, Anthony Manuel. And for the Shockers, a six foot sophomore from Summit, Illinois, number 10, Joe Griffin. The head coaches tonight for Bradley in his second season, Stan Albeck. And for the Shockers in his second year, Coach Eddie Fogler. Bradley in Wichita. The Braves won the opener 88-70 and the rematch is coming up next. The day you drive out with a new car, you start driving down the value month after month. With most auto insurance, total a car two years later and you just get the used car value. But with Country Company's Keeper Policy, if your car is wrecked beyond repair, you get a brand new car. Same make and model, even if it costs more than you paid at first. So get the country behind you. You've got the Country Company. Farmers who switch to eradicane are getting better grass control. Isn't that right, Gary? I did an excellent job controlling our grasses. Mainly foxtail is our big grass problem, and we're very happy with eradicane. How about you, Alan? I watched my neighbor uh, putting on eradicane with his fertilizer through impregnation, and uh, I tried it, and it just cleaned up my grasses really well. For better grass control than dual or lasso, farmers like you are switching to eradicane. Smokeless tobacco in kids, tonight on Kids Nowadays. Our officials tonight, from left to right, J.C. Leimbach, Tom O'Neill, and Woody Mayfield. On January 8th in Peoria, the Braves beat Wichita 88-70. Hersey Hawkins had 31, but the guy that gave the Shockers fits was point guard Anthony Manuel with his nine steals and 14 assists. Here's the tip, and it's controlled by Luke Jackson of Bradley. Ahead to Hersey Hawkins, number 33, averaging over 36 points per game. He's still leading the nation. Wichita State starting in a man-to-man. -man. Inside the Trimpey, passes up the shot. He's guarded by Lou Hill. Hawkins picked up by Dwight Prelo. Inside the Hawkins, spinning, shooting, and missing, but jammed in by Luke Jackson on the follow. More of the same for Hawk. He goes into the middle, and he's really getting bumped around. Good follow that time by Luke. Good position inside. The Prelo Twins in the starting lineup tonight for Wichita State. This is Joe Griffin, number 10, with a bounce to Dwight Prelo, number 22. Inside to Dwayne, who banks one off the glass. And both teams have scored here in the early going. This is Wichita's smaller lineup, but those guys are quick inside. The Prelo guys can get in there and score. Pass gets away from Powell, but Jackson is Johnny on the spot. And he scored all four of Bradley's points in the early going. Now the Shocker's on the run. Prelo goes up without the ball, and the Braves come away with it. Manuel in the front court. Hawkins. Got it. A three-pointer, and Hersey hits the long shot early. I asked him before the game how he was feeling. He said, we'll know in the first five minutes. He's looking all right. One for two now. From the Held field. to just 17 points on Saturday at Tulsa, his season low. Now he really got bumped and banged around. He had to 
have a hip pad taped on yesterday at practice. He's really banged up from that ball game. Luke Jackson doing some banging underneath as he fouled Lou Hill. And let's take a look. Lou Hill strong to the basket. That's one of the things he does best is take the ball right to the bucket. He's been their Mr. Consistent lately. Inside it goes to Dwight Prelo. Make it Dwayne and he scores to cut it to a 7-4 Bradley lead. Traveling on Anthony Manuel. Anthony Manuel is having troubles with his left knee. He's uh, had some swelling. He's been running too much on it. It's similar to the runner's knee. And flared up overnight. He did not shoot around at practice today. Been icing it. We'll see if it affects him tonight. The steal by Hawkins, the recovery by Trimpey, and a foul is called on Manuel as he tried to get the pass off, and Tom O'Neill points his way. Well, the tempo is definitely favoring Bradley here in the early going. I don't know. Hill had both feet on the floor, and that'll... That'll just about convince the officials, even if they weren't planted very long. Joe Griffin bounces inside to Radunovich, who scores, tries to score over Powell, but can't. And then Lou Hill goes sailing into the bench. <laughs> Folks here thought he was pushed. He was just pushed away from the bench, not into it. Marty Gillespie with a nice catch over there on the sidelines. Now Wichita in the 2-3 zone. They're going to switch up a lot. They tried to confuse Bradley with this in Peoria. It didn't work. Hawkins guarded by Hill. And Lou Hill slapped it out of bounds. It still belongs to the Braves. Hill had 13 points in that victory over Illinois State on Saturday night. Inside it goes to Luke Jackson, but he threw up a bad shot. And the Shockers come racing out of there with it. Bradley on top by three with just over 17 to play in the first half. Hill fakes the three-pointer, now pumps from the right wing. Lou Hill took advantage of good Bradley defense that time. Trevor Trimpey fading down to double. Sasha Radunovich on the block. Hill took advantage of it and hit the shot. Powell throws one up a little too hard. And Wichita can take a lead with a basket. They don't. Manuel pushes it up the floor in a hurry to the foul line. Quick pass to Hawkins, who shoots and hits. And Hawk will find those little openings, those little gaps in that 2-3 zone. He'll just step right in there and pop on those. He has five already. Had 31 in the first meeting of these teams. And four blocked shots. He played both ends. The big man with a long shot, Radunovic, with a foot on the three-point arc. The Bradley strategy backfired that time. They talked at practice today about giving Radunovic that shot from out top. And Powell is fouled by Dwayne Prelo as he goes up for the lob pass. This is a battle to watch inside. Donald got undercut just a little bit there. John Cooper, number 14, into the ball game. And Steve Breyer, who didn't start for the first time against Illinois State, nor did he tonight. Hawkins. Seven points for the Hawk already. Bradley with 11 and a three-point lead. 16 minutes to play in the first half. This is Griffin up top to Dwayne Prelo. Now to Radunovich outside Griffin. They pass it around in a hurry. Radunovich with another long jumper. Doesn't make it this time. That's smart. They're going to give the big man the wide open shot from out there. Fade back into the lane and force him to drive. Manuel is wide open, but he's short. Air ball. And everyone lets him know it. Oh, he got a little rim, didn't he? And 11 to 8, Bradley lead. Grayer pumps from the baseline, rattles in and out. Trimpey with a defensive rebound to Manuel, and this time the foul's on Joe Griffin. He had better position than Hill did on the last 
They called Anthony for the charge the first time. Looked like now we're shielded a little bit by the official, but it looked like he had better position than Hill did. We've got a timeout on the floor and Bradley leading 11 to 8. Rootworms are the biggest threat to your corn crop each year. And you need the consistent performance of counter. Last year, tests by major universities in the Corn Belt proved that counter works best. It prevented economic loss to rootworms in 95% of all tests. The next insecticide prevented economic loss in only 73% of the tests. That's a serious performance gap. And you can't afford a rootworm performance gap. Get counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. Like a good old pair of blue jeans. Like a signpost up ahead. Like a chain steam flick and a fender lick. And a look that stops you dead. I'm an American original. The first fat beer in the can. Have a nice cold coolers with a friend of yours. Brewery Fresh Draft Beer in Bottles and Cans. That's been Coors for over 25 years. Taste the original today. Put a 12-ounce keg in your hand. Why not try something revolutionary for lunch? Ground beef, lettuce, cheese, and a little imagination. Introducing the new Soft Taco Supreme from Taco Bell. With tomatoes and sour cream. Look, you can try something different or become another statistic. The new Soft Taco Supreme. Hello, Taco Bell! Now get a Soft Taco Supreme for only 99 cents at Taco Bell. Valerie's family at a special time tonight at 9.30. The North Point Video Bradley player of the game will be named later on this evening. North Point Video will make a donation in the name of that player to Bradley University's General Scholarship Fund. With Lee Hall, Mark Strauss at Henry Levitt Arena in Wichita where the Braves are trying to interrupt a 17-game conference winning streak by the Shockers. Bradley up 11-8. And with the ball, Luke Jackson made up for the bad pass. Big mismatch that time. Radunovich out on Hawk. Bradley tried to take advantage of it. They got a break. Super Paul Gafrovich in the ball game now, number 15. Grayer holds on the wing. Off to Griffin. Now Luke, to Gafrovich. Luke's doing a good job defensively on Radunovich down low. Now he switches out on Greer. 15 left on the shot clock. Radunovich double team. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cooper inside to Greer. Five seconds on the shot clock. And Cooper hands the three-pointer. John Cooper was Missouri's Mr. Basketball last year. And Mr. Clutch right there. He pulls the Shockers within two. That's something they really did well in Peoria. They hold the ball, work it around, and take a shot with not much time left on the shot clock. There's something else they did. Steve Greer was all over the board. Skafrovich tries to finish at the other end, but he doesn't. And we get a whistle. Tom O'Neill stops play. And let's see what's that, what that is all about. I think it was an inadvertent gush of oxygen. In other words, he blew the whistle when he wasn't right, supposed to. Right, he blew it, is what I'm saying. Well, uh, officials have been known to do that. Oh, sure. 2-3 zone again by Wichita. Fans really getting on Anthony. I think he's having more trouble with Joe Griffin. Manuel with the three. That's no air ball. That'll shut him up. 16-11 Braves. And 13.40 to play in the first half. Bradley's won four of the last five of these meetings. Kaprovic running the baseline. That's something he did in the first game. We saw him run that quite a bit. Greer in trouble. Out to Kaprovic to relieve the pressure. Manuel all over him. Griffin open for the three. Doesn't take it. This is Greer. Triple team. Throws it away. Recovered by Radunovich to a wide open Cooper. Got it. They're working that clock, Lee. And Powell at the other end with the authoritative finish. I tell you what, if the tempo keeps up like this, Bradley's going to win this one. 
That's what happened in Peoria. It was a three-point game at halftime, and the Braves pulled away with a 12-0 run in the second half. Radunovich, inside he goes, and he scores. Sasha Radunovich, averaging just under 14 points per game, but only about nine per game in the Valley. And Hawkins is fouled as he took the pass. It's on Paul Gafrovich, his first. That kid averaged 31 points per game last year in his senior year in high school at Natticoke, Pennsylvania. He was the leading scorer in the state of Pennsylvania. Hawkins with another three-pointer. He's getting open. He's lighting him up. Got a seat on the Wichita bench that time, too. He's in double figures with 10. Wichita, a lot like Tulsa, they'll work the ball around and work it and work it some more. Breyer goes high, scores. Will it count? Yes. He just ate Bradley up in Peoria doing this, and he's got another start on it tonight. Not a lot of contact there, but no. I guess enough for a foul. Well, the problem came before that. Hawk was just coming over to try and help out, and he got there a little bit late, but somebody's got to keep Greer from cutting across the lane like that. We saw that in Tulsa. If that happens tonight, Bradley will have a little bit of trouble. Greer had 13 points against Illinois State Saturday, but 11 of them came just like that at the foul line. Manuel drives all the way, flips it outside to Hawk, another three, this one's short. Luke Jackson has it swatted away, out of bounds, ball belongs to Bradley. 12 minutes to play in the first half, and Bradley has a 21-18 lead here in Wichita. With the arrival of the Morrison's new baby, the flexibility of Country Company's universal life insurance is a big help. I know it's hard to believe, but you can change the amount of your coverage, even skip payments if you need to. But why Country Companies? They've always delivered what they promised. You've got country behind you. With Country Companies Universal Life. You've got Country Companies. Havana merchants would like to congratulate Trevor Trimpey and the Bradley Braves Here's to a successful 87-88 basketball season Come visit our community, a nice place to live Dangerous road conditions, more on night side This Bradley basketball telecast is protected by broadcast rights granted by Bradley University and the Missouri Valley Conference. Any rebroadcast or other use without the express written consent of WEEK Television and Bradley University is strictly prohibited. And at halftime, a special guest from the central Illinois area, although she spends the school year here. Lee, you're going to be talking with Mason City's Shelley Crow. That's right. She led Illinois in scoring a couple of years ago back... Uh She's playing for Mason City. She's playing for Wichita State now. Seeing a little bit more playing time. We'll talk to her coming up at halftime. So Mason City's Shelly Crow, our halftime guest tonight here in Wichita. But first things first, the Braves with the ball, and the pressure works. But the Braves swat it away. Donald Powell touched it last, says Tom O'Neill. That half-court trap by Wichita to try and put some pressure on Anthony. I think he wouldn't have too much trouble with it but with a sore knee, he's going to have some problems. Lou Hill holds it high, number three to Steve Grayer, number 20. Gafrovich at the foul line. Got the roll. It's a one-point game. Manuel launches the long bomb, and that rolls in and out. Dwayne Prelo collects the carom out to Gafrovich. Hill a bit out of his range. Rear and Luke going at it down low. Dwight Prelo throws up the brick. 
Anthony Manuel to Hawkins, back to Manuel. Hawkins has 10 so far. Powell inside, shoots over the defender and misses. And a rebound and a foul on Donald Powell. Now, that's a pretty good mismatch in there. Donald on Dwayne Fralo. He's got him by about three or four inches. That's the first on Donald. And the fourth against the Braves. 10.55 to play in the first half, and the Braves lead 21-20. Grayer baseline to Gafrovich. Now to Hill. Trippy on him, waving the big arms. Wayne Prelo is short. Grayer finds the garbage. And Wichita has taken the lead. Trimpey with the three. Yes. That'll take the starch out. Nice to see Trevor hit one. He's had kind of a tough week. Raves by two, 24-22. Grayer fronted by Hawkins. Back to Hill. Prelo with the rebound. Wichita's just standing there waiting for the weak side rebound. Somebody's got to pick that man up. The Shockers can take the lead. But we've got a foul against Bradley. And some substitutions to be made in the process. They call it on Lou Hill, and Bradley will have the ball. Greer again, as he did in Peoria, doing a good job on the board. Luke with good hustle to get back and get the position on Hill. Good hustle that time for the big guy to get down there. Half-court trap again. There's Jackson. <laughs> he actually intercepted a pass that was intended for Hawkins. Yeah. But Hersey doesn't mind. It gives Bradley a two-point lead. Not and that's at six all. points for Luke. He's playing real well so far tonight. Hill. Did a little ballet number there to avoid the contact. And we're tied again at 26 with 9-10 to play in the first half. Joe Griffin back in the ball game and matched with Anthony Manuel. Hawkins has it swatted away from behind, and Lou Hill all over the floor. Now, Hawks had his troubles the last couple of nights trying to go into the lane. That ovation is for Lou Hill. John Cooper comes in to replace him, but the way he's been playing, I'm not sure why, unless he's just dead tired. Bradley retains possession. They've got Jerry Thomas in the ball game now, number 21. A little bit of a matchup zone here by Wichita State. Switching defenses. They didn't get a chance to do that in Peoria. Trimpey with the three. Grayer with the rebound. The Shockers with a chance to snap the tie. Eight and a half to play in the first half. Radunovic, who's been pretty quiet so far. Outside to Dwight Fralo, back to Sasha Radunovic. Loose ball on the floor, red jerseys everywhere, and a foul on John Cooper of Wichita State. That plays something they call the Sasha shuffle down here. Sasha Radunovic shuffle cutting into the lane. Tough one for Bradley to defend, but nice help that time by Hawk. Everybody getting after it. Anthony on a bad knee diving after the ball. Radunovic still having problems with his knee that he injured in Peoria, and now that elbow that he had operated on has been giving him problems. Manuel called for walking for the second time, and that turns it over with 8.07 to go on the first half, and the score tied at 26. It's Griffin, Cooper, Gafrovich, Grayer, and Radunovic for Wichita. They do a lot of substituting. Sasha with the fall away. And a whistle on Luke Jackson. That's two on him. 
neither team in the bonus yet, but that was a shooting foul anyway, so he'll go to the line. Great effort by here, here by Radunovic to get the shot off against Hawk and JT. Luke pushed off a little bit. But he'll have to wait before he goes to the line. We've got a timeout. Corn growers around here know counter gives you more. More rootworm control, more root mass, more corn. And counter in furrow gives you more protection where it's needed most. Counter consistently outperforms every other rootworm insecticide. And you can't afford a performance gap. So get more of what you use an insecticide for. Get counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. Valerie's family at a special time tonight at 9.30. Two cities, one marriage. Can two career couples live in different cities and still be happy? Find out as Kelly Morgan begins her series Commuter Couples Wednesday on News 25 at 6. We're tied at 26 apiece, just under eight minutes to play in the first half. Radunovic was fouled before the timeout, and apparently they've decided that he was not in the act of shooting. And since they're not in the bonus, John Cooper will be the trigger man underneath the basket. And it goes to Greer, and we saw him do that a couple of times in January. Just went straight to the block and put it right in. The Braves with four three-pointers already. JT close to shooting one there, but he's just inside the arc, didn't go anyway. Now a loose ball in front of the Wichita State bench. Wow. Manuel eyes the three. There's number five. Good hustle that time. Percy and Trevor really busting over there to save the ball from going out of bounds. The Braves shooting more three-pointers, or at least connecting on more per game than any team in the country, over eight. Dan Albeck said he wanted to lead the country in that department when he took the job a year and a half ago. They're doing it. And they're leading the ball game, 29-28. Griffin being fronted by Manuel to Cooper on the left wing. Watch Jerry Thomas on Radunovic. Trippy got his foot on that ball. Sasha's got a size advantage on JT, and JT had a tough time against the big guys down in Tulsa. Doing a good job so far here, though, against Sasha. Gafrovich and Dwight Prelo into the ball game, or at least Dwayne Prelo, number 25. I can't keep him straight either. Bradley picks up the loose ball. Manuel pounds the dribble to Hawkins outside Trimpe. And it goes to Powell back in the game. Over Radunovic, but he's short on the jumper. And Lou Hill is there to pick up the track. Good move. Took it right to him. A seesaw fair. The Shockers down by one, but they can take the lead with a bucket here. Boy, they set up high, don't they? Yeah, they'll back cut quite a bit. They tried to do it there with Radunovic, but he couldn't get the pass off. Now Hill in trouble. Ball away jumper. In and out, Radunovic on the rebound. They're just walking in there. They own the paint. Well, that's something... Marty Gillespie told me last night that had to change from the Tulsa game. Bradley's got to do a better job and keep these guys off the offensive glass. Woody Mayfield says, Bradley Ball, he's not a popular man right now. Don't run for mayor, Woody. This guy could, though. Eddie Fogler has really done wonders with this program, leading them to an NCAA tournament berth in his first year here last season. Powell on the rebound. Foul, no call. Radunovic picks this one yep, up, yep, but yep. he elbowed Hersey Hawkins, Good and call. he won't get away with it. I wonder.
wonder if being the leading scorer in the nation helps <laughs> you get these calls. Well, watch him. Watch Sasha clear him out. Now, <laughs> I didn't know Hawk was a theater major. First foul on Radonovich. I'll tell you, there was a, a lot more banging around going on before that that hurt a lot worse than that one did. 5.35 to play. Hawkins goes up in a crowd. Offensive foul is called. Bradley wants the basket. Let's see if they get it. Nope. I don't think they will, nope. no. That's the old Revlon call, makeup. Puck gets bounced around every time in there and never gets a call. All Beck's lobbying won't do the trick. Hawkins with two fouls. Now stands outnumbered by about 10,000 people. Griffin with the three-point bomb, and Wichita has taken a four-point lead. 33-29. That gets these folks revved up. Trimpy answers at the other end. Cuts the lead in half. Hill races up front court. Launches a jumper, and he hits. Some good shooting in this ball game. Wichita State's been having some shooting trouble. Only 39% in their last three games. Hawkins uses the glass and scores. The mismatch inside. Hawkins on Gafrovich that time. Hawks got the high dad on him. Gafrovich passes inside to Dwayne Prelo. Hill with the rebound. Everyone with a hand on it. And a foul on Lou Hill as he... I think he got a piece of Jerry Thomas. He did. There were a lot of bodies flying in there. We'll see exactly how it happened. Anthony slaps it out of Hill's hands to start the whole mess. JT got a handle on it. Lose one of their favorites down here, so they don't like him calling fouls on him. And like you said, he's one of their favorites down here, too. Eddie Fogler won 20 games in his first season. Gene Smithson only won 20 games in a season three times in seven years. Thomas misses the free throw and another whistle. And Trevor Trimpe is charged with a foul and says, hey, I think you missed one, Woody. No, he's telling Woody he oughtn't to be making that call from way out there. Down to 4.35 to play in the first half. I'm not sure we can tell there, but you can see the reaction by Trevor Trimpey as they walk the other way. And stepping up to the free throw line is Dwayne Prelo. <laughs> he and Dwight, who come from the same high school as former Shocker star Xavier McDaniel, Flora High School in Columbia, South Carolina. Can make it a four-point Wichita State lead, and he does. Now they apply the pressure. Here's Trimpey front court, three on one to Hawkins, and he was fouled on the play. Count the basket and award the foul to Radonovich. And here's the experience on the break. I thought maybe Trevor might have held on to that a little bit too long. I kind of thought he'd get rid of it up around the top of the key, but boy, he got that pass in there, a good pass. Hawk through the contact. Grayer in, he'll take the place of Radunovich. Sasha's seeing a lot of minutes in the first half. They've cut down on his time considerably because of the ailments with his elbow and his knee. Tough to play basketball when you can't bend joints. Hawkins connects on the back end of it. He has 15. That almost matches his total of the other night. Ball swatted away by the Braves. Two seconds left on the shot clock, or at least Ooh. on the uh, count. Just got it across. That's the first pressure we've seen tonight by Bradley. We might not see too much of it because of Anthony's problem with the knee. Not getting around like he ought to. Had a little fluid on that yeah. knee today. Yeah, he iced it down during practice today. Wayne Prelo inside for the basket.
and it's 39-36 Wichita with 3.45 to play in the first half. Hawkins, a foot on the arc, give him two points and give him 17. He's now matched his total of Saturday, which was his low for the season. Now, one of the few times I think Hawk might have been intimidated, several things led to that. He got hit in the face early in the game. They weren't calling fouls in the lane. And he got called for a couple of traveling calls, so he kind of got out of his game, which we haven't seen all year. Braves within one, but Cooper widens the gap to four points with a three-pointer. Here's Hawkins with a man in his face, and he connects. <laughs> and that's three for the Hawk, and 20 for him in the game. <laughs> Dwight Fralo ran down the floor and looked back at the Wichita State bench like, what is going on around here? Doesn't seem to matter tonight who's in front of Hersey Hawkins. The nation's leading scorer is putting on a shooting clinic, and Woody Mayfield is wearing out the warranty on that whistle. Let's see who this is against as Aaron Davis, the freshman from Willingboro, New Jersey, checks in for Wichita State. I wish Woody would have been down at Tulsa the other night. Jerry Thomas with his first foul. Talks it over with J.C. Leimbach as Dwayne Prelo steps up to the charity stripe where he's shooting 77%. In and out. Rebound Cooper. That's no good. Hawkins on the board. And the Braves with a chance to take the lead for the first time in a while. Griffin steals it. Great hustle by Joe Griffin. Inside to Greer. Blocked from behind by Thomas who thought he got nothing but ball. The officials beg to differ. Sure looked like a clean one. Griffin made a great play to save it, and look at the long pass. They get this one around the horn in a hurry. Jerry might have had a case there. Just no one representing him. <laughs> so here's Steve Grayer, a 62% free throw shooter. who had 23 points in the first meeting of the year between these two teams and 10 rebounds. Loose ball, Cooper on the rebound, and a foul. It's on Bradley. Two twenty-seven to play in the first half, and the Braves are starting to rack the fouls up. So they get Greg Jones ready to come off the bench, and here he comes. Donald's gotten in there twice now and had the rebound and gotten it slapped away from him. He's got to come down hard and uh, hang on to it with a good grip. Stan Albeck says to Jerry Thomas, grip this chair while Greg Jones takes your place. Thomas with three fouls. You'll notice they've moved Hawk into that lower position now. Hawkins averaging seven rebounds a game. He's second on the club. Fractions behind Luke Jackson, who's not in there right now. Since the Valley started, he's leading the team in rebounding. So Wichita State will take a breather with a 45-41 lead here at Levin Arena. happened so funny right after breakfast i remember i started sweating i had some pains in my chest i thought it was just indigestion and got up to get an antacid but my wife knew about methodist first hour emergency heart care and we didn't wait i was having a heart attack only i just didn't know it learn the early warning signs and don't give these signals a second thought act immediately methodist's first hour emergency heart care 
life-saving. Smokeless tobacco in kids, tonight on Kids Nowadays. Tune in a week from this Saturday when the Bradley Braves battle the Creighton Blue Jays at Carver Arena. The action begins at 2.30 right here on WEEK. Wichita leading 45-41. We've got 2.27 to go before halftime, and the Braves suffering from that same illness they did on Saturday. They don't look too good in the paint. Now Wichita has done a good job going to the glass. Same thing that happened to Tulsa the other night. Bradley's got to check out, keep him off the offensive glass. In fact, down in Tulsa, both Donald and Luke had more offensive rebounds than defensive. Of course, Bradley shot poorly, and that accounts for part of that. But they've got to get on that defensive board, too. Matchup zone by Wichita State. I wonder if the Shockers know they're playing the number 18 team in the country. The new AP rankings have the Braves rated 18th tonight. They don't care. Manuel won't go. Hawkins on the rebound. Nice fake pump. Gets his own rebound for a second time and scores. And a whistle. Oh. It counts. <laughs> and he's fouled. And J.C., a uh, little bit of hesitation on that call. Watch the hard work by Hersey Hawkins here. Every rebound in this sequence is his. One rebound. Puts it up. Contact, no call. Two rebounds. Up again. He actually got to the glass without any contact. And he couldn't make it. And here's number four. This one counts. So the Hawk with 22 points already. In case you're interested, the Levitt Arena scoring record is 47. That belongs to Antoine Carr. Xavier McDaniel owned the Carver Arena record for a couple of years until Hawkins broke that this year, twice. 2-2-1 two, 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 full court. And there was, well, they just beat it. They just made it across before the 10-second count. Griffin with an athletic move to get the ball away. Now gets the return. Inside to Powell, who breaks it up. And nobody's home for Hersey Hawkins. Somebody got in the back door but fouled him. Well, that's Dwight Prelo. Hawk had to wait just about a half a second here for the pass. Donald with a good job defensively that time, sinking in and picking off the pass. He had to wait just that long. That gave Wichita State, the Twins, the Prelo boys, time to get back and uh, keep him from making a spectacular play. <laughs> and Eddie Fogler says there was no contact whatsoever. Hawkins at the free throw line tonight. Trying to <laughs> supplement his production. Eddie Fogler says he doesn't need your help, J.C. He scored enough. That's 25 for Hersey Hawkins. If there was no contact on that dunk, then uh, Eddie better get his eyes checked. There was contact. Down to 125 to go on the half. Bradley with a lead on those free throws. Dwight Prelo couldn't take it away. Hawkins pushes the dribble up the floor. Back to his partner, Manuel. The bounce to Powell. He's double teamed. Nothing doing. Hawkins is open. Almost lost the ball. Shoots anyway and hits. <laughs> Dwight Prelo got a piece of that ball. And Hawk had to, to adjust. It's not always that easy to just stand out there and pop those baskets from outside. Hawkins up to 27. And we haven't reached halftime yet. 39 seconds before the half, and J.C. Leimbach blows the whistle again, and this time it's on the Braves. Greg Jones, number 32, committing the foul. Greg had an excellent game against Tulsa on Saturday when he came in and started to help the Braves on the boards. No one was rebounding in Tulsa, and in a very important stretch of the ball game, he was able to do it a few times, and the Braves took the lead while he was on the floor, and he had plenty to do with it. So Dwayne Prelo at the free throw line with the Braves leading 49-45. Oh. 
Eyes it, shoots it, hits it. The Bradley lead cut in half. It's two points. Let's see if the Braves hold for one shot. Just 33 seconds left in the half, so the shot clock's been turned off. Inside to Powell. He goes to the basket, and the foul is on the Shockers. I think John Cooper. You Let's see, see the, it here. Yeah. Battle going inside against two or three guys. There you see the foul. You see the yellow down there along the baseline. That's where Hawk is having to make his cuts off those low post picks. They don't let him stay in bounds. In fact, Cooper should have had two fouls on that play because he bumped Hawk out of bounds. Dubrovich in and Cooper out. And he'll take two fouls out to the bench with him. Donald cashed in at the free throw line Saturday night. He was 8 of 10 there, but he doesn't connect this time. Donald's been much more productive as a starter. His season average is 10 points and 6 rebounds a game, but in the three games he started in a row, he's averaged 12 points and 8 rebounds. Comes up empty at the free throw line with 23 seconds to play in the half, and no doubt Eddie Fogler will demand that his team go for one shot. They can tie the game before the intermission if they hit it unless it's a three-pointer, and then they take a lead to the locker room. Ten seconds to go. Griffin out toward the mid-strike, trying to move around Manuel to Grayer, blocked by Jones, and a basket by Prelo as time expires in the first half. Dwayne Prelo ties the ball game, and they'll go to the locker room. Wichita State 49 and Bradley 49. Back after these messages. New in TV Guide, one of the most objective movie rating systems anywhere, and helpful daily preview pages. Pick up your copy of TV Guide. It's on sale now. Here's what farmers have to say about the grass control they get with Eradicane. Since uh, we've switched to Eradicane now, we're enjoying a 100% grass control. We have a big problem with foxtail, and Eradicane is, is doing a wonderful job. I had excellent control over giant foxtail and uh, a few broadleaf weeds. When you consider the cost savings, we're gonna have to look at it next year too. For better grass control and dual or lasso, farmers like you are switching to Eradicate. There's an attorney here in Illinois who's carved a big niche for himself in successful personal injury awards. An attorney whose clients swear by him and are his best advertising. An attorney whose reputation for getting the most money awards allowed by law for his clients is known throughout Illinois, and he's been doing it for 25 years. I'm Jay Jansen, and I'll work hard for you and your family to obtain the largest money award allowed by law. Call me. Jansen, because you want to win. <laughs> The definition of marriage means establishing a mutual bond between a man and a woman, but due to changing times, two career couples find that having a mutual home isn't always possible. This is Kelly Morgan. Join me starting Wednesday when you'll meet some area couples who, because of their careers, have ended up in two different cities, each with a place they call home. Learn how these couples continue to stay close even when they have to be far away. Commuter couples starting Wednesday on News 25 at 6. Valerie's family at a special time, tonight at 9.30. This exclusive telecast is brought to you in part by Coors, the beer with the difference worth tasting. Coors is the one. By Coors Light, there's no slowing down with the silver bullet. By University Ford, where you're always a winner. By Counter, more performance, more consistency. Counter gives you more. By Methodist Medical Center of Illinois. By the Country Company's Insurance. You've got the country behind you by ICI, makers of Eradicane and Diphenate, and by North Point Video, Audio and Appliance, Peoria and Morton.
Toyota Quality. It's a tradition that keeps growing stronger year after year. Number one in its class for customer satisfaction, the Toyota Tercel. The most trouble-free car sold in America. The Toyota Cressida. The best-selling 4x4 compact truck. Toyota. The number one compact truck sold in towing capacity and payload. Toyota. And they're all sold at a first-class dealership. Peoria Toyota Volvo. Who could ask for anything more? For a quick, inexpensive meal, you can have this or Shakey's Buffet. It costs about the same, but you get a little bit more at Shakey's. And a salad bar loaded with garden-fresh vegetables, a variety of Shakey's delicious pizza, golden fried chicken and deep-fried potatoes, piping hot pasta, and more. Well, that's the long and the uh, short of it. Come to Shakey's in Peoria, East Peoria, and Bloomington. At North Point Video in Peoria and Morton, get the best in Sony Entertainment. You'll find an excellent selection of video cameras and radios. North Point Video's competitive prices bring Sony Trinitron Color TV performance within reach of any home entertainment budget. The latest in Sony video technology is at North Point Video, now at two locations. For large inventory, low prices, and professional service, North Point Video and Appliance at North Point Plaza in Peoria and 250 Detroit Avenue in Morton. It happened so funny, right after breakfast. I remember I started sweating. I had some pains in my chest. I thought it was just indigestion and got up to get an antacid. But my wife knew about Methodist First Hour Emergency Heart Care, and we didn't wait. I was having a heart attack, only I just didn't know it. Learn the early warning signs, and don't give these signals a second thought. Act immediately. Methodist's First Hour Emergency Heart Care. Life-saving. When you want to know what's happening in your world, or what's happening in your home, meet us right here. Weekdays. Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and Donahue. Weekday mornings on WEEK. The North Point Video Bradley Player of the Game will be named later on tonight. North Point Video will make a donation in the name of that player to Bradley University's General Scholarship Fund. With Lee Hall, Mark Strauss at Henry Levitt Arena in Wichita, Bradley and Wichita tied at 49 at halftime. It's been a great ball game so far. It sure has. And uh, some of the things I thought uh, that were going to have to happen for Bradley tonight, uh, they had to force the up-tempo game. They've done that. It's not a uh, half-court game like it was at Tulsa. Uh, they had to rebound a little better. They haven't quite done that. They haven't kept Wichita State off the glass. They scored a lot of points in the paint like Tulsa did the other night. And Hawk has gotten into the game, the 28th. <laughs> yeah, I would say he's kind of gotten into the game. He is the game. Hawkins with 28 points. Dwayne Prelo is the leading scorer for Wichita State with 13. And you talk about the rebounding, Lee. Wichita State has out-rebounded the Braves 21-16. to But the Braves have really had problems at the defensive end tonight. They sure have. They've uh, caused a lot of problems. Wichita State has. Greer and Radunovic. Greer did it in Peoria. Radunovic didn't get a chance. So that's something for us to watch for in the second half. Maybe Bradley will wear down Wichita State. That's what usually happens. Coming up in a few minutes, Lee will talk with former Mason City star Shelly Crow. But first, we'll take you back to school for some words from our friends at Bradley. I think that when I get older and I'm telling my children and my grandchildren about my experience at Bradley University, I'd like to share with them all the wonderful times I had in the theater department. Being able to work on productions, uh, whether it was backstage running props or being stage manager or whether I had the lead in the show it was always a really special time for me to be close to the people in that department especially the different directors and the different professors I was able to work with take it slower, milk it, stay slow be as what? be as thou was want to be be as thou was want to I mean to shade it oh god make music out of that <laughs> have it, go ahead I'd like to share with him the time that Jeffrey Holder came to campus and he sat in on some of our classes and he lectured to us and he told us that each one of us has our own special shining star and that whenever we really needed it, it was going to be there for us. And I think that was a really inspiring moment in my life. Rootworms are the biggest threat to your corn crop each year and you need the consistent performance of counter. Last year, tests by major universities in the Corn Belt proved that Counter works best. It prevented economic loss to rootworms in 95% of all tests. The next insecticide prevented economic loss in only 73% of the tests. 
that's a serious performance gap. And you can't afford a rootworm performance gap. Get counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. For years, the people of Central Illinois have been telling you about Pekin New Car Dealers. Uh, as a woman, it's tough to shop for a car. I feel I'm being taken a lot of times, and I don't think that happened at the dealer in Pekin. I saved a couple thousand dollars at Pekin New Car Dealers. Isn't it time you found out for yourself? For the best selection, best service, before and after the sale, and the best price, look no further than the Pekin New Car Dealers. They have what you're looking for, and they have it for less. Like a top-down neon drive-in, like a Sugar Ray Express, like made in the shade, like making the grade, like the coat of the old Wild West. I'm an American original, the first draft beer in a can, tap an ice cold push with a friend of yours. Brewery Fresh draft beer in bottles and cans. That's been Coors for over 25 years. Taste the original today. Put a 12-ounce keg in your hand. Pages Plus, published by Donnelly Directory. Shop here and shop. Help! For everything tomorrow's champions need today. Ameritech Pages Plus, published by Donnelly Directory. Shop here and shop a winner. Valerie's family at a special time tonight at 9.30. Welcome back to Henry Levitt Arena here in Wichita, Kansas. Bradley in Wichita State tied at 49 after 20 minutes of action. And we have a lady wheat shocker with us here at halftime, Shelly Crow from Mason City High School, right there in our viewing area. She led the state in scoring back in high school a couple of years ago. Shelly, it's good to see you again. Uh, it seems like a long time since we talked to you last back in Mason City. <laughs> yeah, um, Kansas, Wichita's a pretty long ways from Mason City, but... <laughs> came out here for one reason and I'm having a good time at it. Yeah, tell me about uh, the year you led the state in scoring. Was that tough going out there every night and uh, being kind of a one lady show? Um, it really wasn't tough because uh, <laughs> I really didn't have any pressure. I didn't have any pressure on me. I wasn't really nervous and it's a lot different coming out here because every game I go in I'm always nervous. <laughs> yeah, you finally started to get into some games. You went back to Bradley and played there pretty close to home and uh, that's been the start of something good for you. Yeah, um, Starting uh, about two weekends ago, I started getting to play about 20, 25 minutes a game. I got to play 30 minutes a game one night, which was the most. It felt pretty good. <laughs> and you're liking that three-point line pretty well, are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm shooting around 50% from the three-point line. Not too bad. Shelly, thanks a lot. Thank good luck to you. Hope to see you in Peoria again next year. Shelly Crow of Mason City. She led the state in scoring a couple of years ago down at Mason City and now she's playing for the Lady Wheat Shockers. We're tied 49 all here at Henry Levitt Arena in Wichita. Right now we're going to go back to our newsroom and Tom McIntyre for a news update. Mac. Thank you very much Leland. Coming up tonight at 10 on News 25 Nightside we'll update you on our wintertime weather. The worst may be over at this point. Also tonight the latest in that bizarre investigation into Knox County where a wife of a man who's been dead over eight years has pleaded guilty to concealing his death and has now been charged with forging his name on, uh, on checks. Also tonight, Pontiac prison guards say they will refuse to take drug tests if the state corrections department asks them to. And we'll return to the second half of Wichita and Bradley basketball right after these messages. When Ed moved to Wheaton, he thought he was going to have to look high and low for a country company's auto claim center. He didn't know that country companies has more of them than anyone else in the state. So how about it, Ed? Hard to find? Nope. It's just five minutes from my house. And the country company's folks around here are just as friendly. You've got the country behind you. With the most auto claim centers. You've got the country company. Office Interiors by Whitmer can maximize the potential of your office for greater productivity. Whitmer provides a complete package featuring office function analysis, interior design, space and systems planning, and installation. Client needs are skillfully integrated with elements of design, color, and the finest in office furnishings. Whitmer also designs and installs filing and finding systems, including movable shelving and rotary and automated files. A productive office requires planning. Planning by Office Interiors by Whitmer in Peoria and Bloomington. 
Starting your own business, whatever the size, isn't easy. It takes hard work, time, and money. And that's why I bank at the First National Bank of Peoria. They made it their business to understand my business, and I like that in a bank. Whether you need a loan, checking or savings account, or employee benefits plan, Peoria's First Bank has all the services you need to make your business grow. No matter what size your business, you're sure to get results. The First National Bank of Peoria. We'd like to talk business with you. Why should you switch to Eradicane? For better grass control. Right, Curtis? Our grass control was excellent with Eradicane. We just felt that the Eradicane, under dry conditions, acts different and works much better than Lasso under the same conditions. We switched from Dual and were well satisfied. Our dealer recommended Eradicane to save us money. We're happy to report we saved almost $3 an acre with Eradicane this year. For better grass control than Dual or Lasso, farmers like you were switching to Eradicane. Valerie's family at a special time tonight at 9.30. Hi, I'm David Horowitz, a Bradley alumnus and now host of the Fight Back with David Horowitz show. I think Bradley did for me what it did for a lot of other people. It gave us an environment that we can learn in that was relaxed. It gave us professors who were professional, who also inspired us. It gave us a feeling of belonging to a university that really cared. At Bradley, we were very real people and not just student ID numbers. And I owe a lot to Bradley because if not for Bradley, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm Melvin Bradshaw, chairman of the board of the Liberty Mutual Insurance Group. I'm big on Bradley University because this great liberal arts university prepared me very well for a future in a very competitive business world. I'm proud of my past relationships with Bradley because it's helped me a great deal in the past. I became very successful in the business world, and I owe a debt of gratitude to Bradley. Welcome back to Levitt Arena in Wichita, where Bradley and the Wichita State Shockers are tied at halftime. 49-49. It's been a good ball game so far. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics. First of all, the Braves and Shockers both shooting very well, and a lot of that can be attributed to Hersey Hawkins on the Bradley side, who's 10 of 16 from the field so far. As we mentioned, the Braves have been out-rebounded 23 to 16, and the other statistics not a big factor. As for the Braves, individually, Hawkins with 28 points, 4 of 5 on 3-pointers. Luke Jackson has 8, Anthony Manuel has 6, and the only player in foul trouble is Jerry Thomas, who has 3 fouls. Wichita State being led by Dwayne Prelo, who we understand has 14 points. John Cooper also in double figures with 10. Steve Grayer has 8, and he's done a good job on the board so far. He has 6 rebounds in the game already. And the Hawk also has 6 rebounds. So, Percy Hawkins is a one-man band. It's tied 49 all at halftime. He really has been a one-man show here. Luke scored about 6 points, like, right away. And since then, it's pretty much been only Hawk. And... Uh, that might cause some problems for Bradley. They need some help from uh, the big guys. Donald and Luke need to turn it on a little bit here and uh, if not help out scoring, bump those guys out of the lane a little bit and uh, keep them off the offensive boards. Interestingly, the Braves have shot better from three-point range than they have from inside the arc. And they will send out Manuel Hawkins, Powell Trimpey, and Luke Jackson, the same five that started the ball game. Wichita State with Griffin, Lou Hill, Dwight and Dwayne Prelo, and Sasha Radonovich. Their starting lineup for tonight. And the only thing that worries is if they stay close with this lineup, they've still got Grayer to bring in off the bench. He's really been a ton for them. Bradley led by three when these teams met in Peoria at the half, and then blew it wide open in the second half. Let's see if they can do it here. Dwight Prelo, number 22 to Lou Hill, underneath. Dwight Prelo is fouled by Powell, and that's two fouls on Donald. Today at the shoot-around, when the Bradley coaches go over what the other teams do, they talk about wanting to get in front of the low post man. And that's been a problem for Bradley so far tonight. They haven't really done that. That entry pass is getting in there pretty easily. And by the time the ball's in there, Wichita State is already on the way to the bucket. Dwayne Prelo with the miss. 
14 points at halftime. If he cans this, it's a new career high. He didn't. Anthony Manuel comes out of there with it. And the Braves with a chance to score first in the second half. Who else will do it? <laughs> Who else but number 33? That's 31 points for him as he cans the three-pointer. Well, they call it a two-pointer. So give him an even 30. Bogdanovich cuts inside and scores with little trouble, and then he's fouled by Powell. So Donald is probably on his way off the floor now as Stan Albeck comes to his feet. I think they called the foul on Radunovich, Mark. They did, you're right. Yeah, but they gave him the basket. It's an offensive foul, and it ties the game. Big guy looked good with the ball, taking it right to the bucket, kind of like Don Royster the other night. Out of bounds, last touch by Bradley. Royster put on a real show in Tulsa. Manuel with the three, bang. There's the help, that helps out. Get a little of that scoring load off Hawk. Griffin with the three, he answers. Now Manuel at the other arc, the Trimpe. At halftime, a kid won a cellular phone from the three-point <laughs> line. Everyone's hot from there. Just what every 12-year-old needs, a cellular phone. Hawkins misses the three, and a whistle. This one ought to be on the Shockers, or at least uh, we'll wait to see as Woody Mayfield comes over. It's on Luke Jackson. You saw Mo McCone shouting instructions to the Braves. I'm sure somewhere in that is get on the boards. That's three on Luke. Radunovich has three. He's off the floor right now as Grayer checks in, number 20 for Wichita State. We're tied at 54 piece, 18-20 to go in the ball game. It's been a good one. And now as Grayer receives the entry pass, play is stopped again. Wayne Prelo charged with the violation. Pushed him a little bit, Tom O'Neill says. A little bit too aggressive on the pick. Eddie Fogler gets his <laughs> two cents worth in, and why not? It's his arena. Doesn't mean they have to listen to him, though. Hawkins, instead of pass shooting, he passes, and it pays off with Luke Jackson hitting the short jumper. Boy, there were about three good shots there. Trevor from three-point land. Hawk had a good shot, passed it up. Gray Grayer got a little too fancy, and he missed the shot. Hawkins with the three, no good. Jackson on the rebound, score it. Both times down, defensive, offensive rebounds, important for Bradley. Luke with a dozen points, and that's the third time in his last four games he's been in double figures, so he's really picked up the pace. And a turnover gives the ball to the red. Braves up by four. They have scored four in a row. One difference tonight for Luke, he's putting up everything from the inside. The last couple of games, he's been hitting the outside shot from about 12 feet. Poked away by Hill. It'll belong to Bradley. Had that. <laughs> Eddie Fogler said to Woody Mayfield, you're the only one of the three I give it to. Woody doesn't smile easy, but that even got him to <laughs> crack a grin. Hawkins is hit by Prelo, and that isn't even questionable. You know, I'm almost surprised they didn't call Hawk for the travel, the way they've been calling it the last couple of games. He's been called for traveling quite a bit lately. That's Dwight Prelo with the foul, his second. Radunovich is on the bench with three. Manuel with the three-pointer off the inbound play. And Greer comes down with it. Joe Griffin, top of the circle, holds up three fingers, indicating a set play. To Greer on the right wing. Graves by four. Griffin fakes right, goes left, outside to Dwayne Prelo, who misses the shot. And the Braves take over again as the ball rolls out of bounds. Bradley helps out so much and so well on defense that when the ball goes inside like that, it leaves a man open out there. The teams can hit that shot. They'll do well against Bradley. 
Powell wasn't looking and the pass went behind him. I think Donald had turned around to go set a pick for somebody. Lou Hill turns and shoots over Trimpy, and Trevor's called for the foul. Trevor kept his hands straight up in the air after the foul was called. Although his hands were at an angle, his arms were at an angle when he went up for the shot, when Hill went up for the shot. I think Trevor would like to write a report on the officiating in this game. He has been a little more vocal than normal. Lou Hill at the line. Hits the first. Averaging 12 points and four rebounds a game, Lou Hill. Prepped for his career here by playing alongside Walter Berry at San Jacinto Junior College. Grayer with the rebound, blocked by Powell, gets his own again. And persistence paid off. A three-point trip down the floor, the old-fashioned way. Now Griffin on the steal. Wichita can take the lead. They do. Joe Griffin turning the tables on Anthony Manuel here on his home floor. Anthony did that all night against Wichita back in Peoria. Nine steals for him. Manuel gave him a lesson and apparently he learned a lot. Hawkins cuts through the lane. Yes. Does it count? It does. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I think we'll get an argument from Eddie Fogler on whether that basket sh should count. <laughs> it pays to be the nation's leading scorer. Yeah. Now, a lot of people, Eddie Fogler uh, checking out the Wichita State replay. The standoff and does when we're at Carver Arena. Does he have to pay uh, per view? I think so. That's the Shocker Channel. That's well, pay per view. I, I wonder if he's got to subscribe to that. When you're a big shot, you get all those things for nothing. Hawkins scores on the free throw. The Braves lead 61 to 59. And you can hear what they all think of it here in Wichita. Used cars, you'll find a great selection at University Ford, plus with our seven-day exchange program, bring it back if you're not completely satisfied. $96.95 will put you behind the wheel of this 85 Camaro Z28. We're about to do something nobody's ever done before. Guarantee our products and theirs. And it all starts with a call to this number for all the facts about how we'll take your toughest soybean weed and grass problems, recommend a control program, probably using a little of both, and guarantee it'll work. No carryover, no stunning, or you respray chemicals free. What have you got to lose? Even the phone call's free. So call, because if you're looking for a catch, there isn't one. Which central Illinois law firm has over 65 years combined experience in personal injury cases? Goldfine and Bold. Which law firm represents the largest number of personal injury victims? Goldfine and Bold. Which law firm is the leader in personal injury and workers' compensation awards? Goldfine and Bold. What's the first thing you should do if you're injured? Call Goldfine and Bold. There's no charge to discuss your case. Don't settle for less. Smokeless tobacco and kids, tonight on Kids Nowadays. A reminder that tonight's episode of Valerie's Family can be seen immediately following tonight's game right here on WEEK. Hersey Hawkins with 33 points has given the Braves a 61-59 lead. Leahy has scored half, more than half, of Bradley's points. Now the turnover, recovered by Hawkins. The Braves on the run, Grayer swats it out of bounds, and they say that Hawkins touched it last. But Woody Mayfield comes over to talk to Tom O'Neill, and I think they're going to change the call. Well, the first time I saw it, it looked like Grayer... No, that's, that's Bradley's ball. The first time I saw it, I thought they made the correct call. They don't change the call. 
Where's and Wichita, Wichita takes over. Can we go to the booth on that, the instant replay booth? Mark McNally didn't make the trip. Hill with a long cross-court pass to Prelo. Yes! Dwight Prelo gives Wichita a one-point lead with 15.05 to play. Marty Gillespie says that is his biggest improvement, the three-point shot. Donald Powell gets inside. Only four points for Big D. And a one-point Bradley Cushion, 63-62. Uh-oh. Joe Griffin not watching for Grayer's pass. It goes out of bounds. Zigged when he should have zagged. And Grayer will go out with the ball. He's replaced by Radunovich, who checks in with three fouls. You've got to admire a guy like Sasha Radunovich. He was supposed to miss a couple of months of the season after he uh, injured his elbow in a car wreck over in Yugoslavia. Didn't miss a game. He had ulnar nerve damage. And he's still out there banging around. Hawkins in trouble to Jackson with the fall away. Trimpey bats it out to Hawkins. Saved the ball. Oh. Almost scored. <laughs> Trimpey does. <laughs> I thought that was down. Well, they say about Hersey that everything goes in, and well, not everything. that was almost correct <laughs> right there. Good hustle by Trevor that time to keep the ball alive. Good hustle by Hersey to save it. Radonovich walked. A footnote on Sasha. You might be competing against Hersey Hawkins this summer because Sasha Radonovich says he'd like to try out for the Yugoslavian Olympic team. And of course, Hersey Hawkins is a near lock to make the U.S. Olympic team if he wants it. Now that he's leading the nation in scoring, he was overlooked for the Pan American Games. I don't think he would be next time. And another turnover by Bradley. Dwayne Prelo gives Donald a seat. Wichita gets the ball. That's the 10th turnover by the Braves. I'll tell you, Dwayne Prelo's a little guy, but he's muscling around in there with Donald. Griffin to the foul line, fakes the shot, doesn't take it. Lou Hill launches the three. We're tied. Hawkins. Hill on the rebound. Wichita State comes racing out of there. Griffin going coast to coast. Wichita State had slowed things down just a little bit because of their injury problems. They're back at an up-tempo pace. Hawkins short. Good save by Donald that time. And Luke Jackson cashes in. Luke's getting close to his career high. He has 14. His career high, 16. Good Inside cut. Radunovic. Blocked by Luke Jackson, who came out of nowhere. Not only did he get higher than Radunovic, he went up over teammate Donald Powell. Some great help by Luke that time to come over. Someone should hire him to block extra points. We're knotted at 67. About 12 and a half to play. John Cooper, the trigger man. The Dwight Prelo outside Paul Gavrovich. We haven't called his name much in the second half. And Woody Mayfield points the finger at Trevor Trimpey. That's three on him. So the Braves with a few people in foul trouble. Thomas has three, but he's on the bench. And Luke Jackson has three. Well, we said it before the game started, another physical one. Wichita running a little bit of a turnout that time. There you see it again. Griffin coming around, two big men down low. Dwayne Prelo scores over Powell. How's he doing? Manuel drives baseline, tries to create something. Fans thought he won. Loose ball picked up by the Shockers. 
Dubrovic at the three-point arc. Passes up the shot. Radonovic almost took it. He was open. Good cut again that time by Sasha. He got open last time he made that cut. He'll take it this time. A four-point lead for the Shockers. Powell couldn't cut it in half. Here's Cooper, three-pointer. And Stan Albeck jumps up off the bench and says, boys, let's talk it over. 74-67, Wichita has erupted. It happened so funny. Right after breakfast, I remember I started sweating. I had some pains in my chest. I thought it was just indigestion and got up to get an antacid. But my wife knew about Methodist First Hour Emergency Heart Care, and we didn't wait. I was having a heart attack, only I just didn't know it. Learn the early warning signs, and don't give these signals a second thought. Act immediately. Methodist's First Hour Emergency Heart Care. Life-saving. Speed Queen Marathon heavy-duty washers are built to last and last. It's no wonder they're number one in commercial laundry worldwide. Just look at this warranty you receive when you purchase a Speed Queen washer at Sherman's. Five years on outer cabinet, a full 10 years on transmission parts and labor, and 20 years on the exclusive stainless steel tub. No other brand even comes close. So join the smart shoppers and buy your Speed Queen at Sherman's prices in Peoria, Bloomington, and Peru. Commuter couples starting Wednesday on News 25 at 6. Don't miss the all-new Bob Euchre Sports Show Sunday afternoon at 4.30 right here on WEEK. Wichita State's gone on a 10-0 run, and they lead Bradley 74-67, to and our statistician, Bill Manis, says it's never been louder here in Wichita. <laughs> the Shockers shooting 57% from the field for the game, and the Braves shooting rather well, too, 53%, but the Shockers have done the big damage here in the last few minutes. We've got 11 minutes to play in the game, and Trimpy with a big basket right there. Trevor didn't hit a shot at Tulsa. He missed four. His mother threatened him with something very embarrassing if he didn't start hitting his shots. Going to make his little sister give him lessons. Hey, she's a good scorer. She scored 33 for uh, Havana the other night. Sasha Radenovich inside with the basket. And the lead is seven again for the hometown team. John Cooper debates the foul, but he'll be charged with the violation. And I believe that's his third. Jerry Thomas coming in for Bradley for Luke Jackson. And watch for Bradley to go inside and try and draw another foul on Sasha Radenovich. He's got three. They'd like to get him in foul trouble here with about ten and a half to play. And it goes to Manuel. Half court trap. Griffin all over Anthony. Trippy holds it high. Hands to Manuel. Double teamed. Trippy at the foul line to Powell. <laughs> Donald's favorite shot. Looks like a 2 3 matchup, and they're trapping out of that. Radunovic came out high that time and just left Donald wide open. Here's Radenovich spinning up top of the circle to Griffin. A flip to Gafrovich around the horn, Cooper. In the corner, Radenovich fakes the shot on Powell, doesn't take it. Down to 9.45 to play. Good ball movement. A steal by Hawkins, and it's showtime in Wichita. Great anticipation by Hawk, as always. That cuts the lead to three, 76-73 with 9.15 to play. Bradley down. Radunovic. <laughs> A 
And now play is stopped. I didn't see what happened after the basket, but Woody Mayfield is talking with Dwayne Prelo and Anthony Manuel. Dwight Prelo back in. Gradonovich and Griffin both take a seat on the bench. Lou Hill has made an appearance. And he's getting a little physical even for the smaller guys out there. A big hello from the Reeds who are here from Peoria and some former Peoria residents, the Reeses, up from Oklahoma City. Hawkins running off that turnout, cuts inside, in and out, rebound, Powell couldn't get it to drop. And Hawkins fouled Dwayne Prelo, fighting for the loose ball. Three on the Hawk. Here it is. Hawk made a good cut that time. JT with a good pick for Hawk to get open in the lane. That's a jump ball. That's a jump ball. He looked like he called a jump ball, and then he decided to call a foul. You can always tell when Hawk thinks he hasn't committed a foul. Of course, he usually doesn't think he's committed one. Yeah, what that basketball player does, <laughs> except for Bill Lambeer, who makes it obvious. Uh, he's Gandhi, though. <laughs> Grayer up top to Gavrovic. Very low on the back cut that time. Inside the hill, spinning on JT. And the foul is on Thomas. White Prelo made the back cut that time, but he didn't have it. Four fouls on Jerry Thomas. So Lou Hill at the free throw line where he can add to a 78-73 Wichita State lead. One more. Salvage is the second of the two free throws. And it's a six-point Wichita State lead. Inside to Hawkins. Fakes left, goes right. And the violation is on Wichita. Looks like it's on Paul Gafrovich. At least Gafrovich thinks it is. And here's how it happened. Good spin by Hawk. It looked like there was too much contact in there that time. I think they gave him one that time. One of the rare times. Trippy open for the three, doesn't take it. Hawkins in the corner, out to Manuel. 7.50 to go, Braves down by six. Hawkins almost lost it. Matchup zone again by Wichita State. They've switched defenses effectively here tonight. Loose ball, a lot of white jerseys, and a jump ball is called. It'll belong to Bradley on the alternating possession. Hawk said he was sore tonight before the game after uh, banging around in Tulsa, but he's given a good effort tonight. Corn growers around here know counter gives you more. More rootworm control more root mass, more corn. And Counter in furrow gives you more protection where it's needed most. Counter consistently outperforms every other rootworm insecticide. And you can't afford a performance gap. So get more of what you use an insecticide for. Get Counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. Hi, this is Stan Allback, and this is my man for the best car deals in the Peoria area. Bruce Sowers at Veldy Ford and Veldy Lincoln Mercury. Thanks, Stan. We've got the best selection of new and used cars and trucks at the lowest prices right here at Veldy Ford and Veldy Lincoln Mercury. If you think about it, why would you want to go anywhere else? Come in and join the Veldy team today. Bradley and Veldy, the two hottest teams in central Illinois. And remember, if he can't beat your best deal, he'll give you the car free. Just tell him Stan sent you. Valerie's family at a special time, tonight at 9.30. 
If you're a basketball fan, you shouldn't miss the Stan Albeck Show, featuring the latest news and in-depth discussions about both college and pro basketball. The Stan Albeck Show is seen Sunday morning at 11.30 right here on WEEK. I'm not sure that we could have broadcast what Stan just said. Percy right. Hawkins with 35, Luke Jackson with 14, and the Braves down by 6, 79-73. It's all right, it's so loud in here, nobody in the first row was offended anyway. <laughs> 10,525, and that is not far under capacity. Jeez. A fight for the loose ball won by the white jerseys. Griffin with a fancy pass to Radunovic, who scores. Hawk almost got trampled that time after he made the shot, took the shot that is. Powell matched up with Radunovic short. Rebound, out to Manuel. He drives, passes to Hawkins, misses. Rebound, gets his own, lays it in. No basket. No basket, says J.C. Leimbach. Is this one on Radunovic? It is, and that's his fourth. Nope. That's something they talked about the timeout before the last one. Go at Radunovic and get him out of there. Seven minutes to play. He'll sit for, I would imagine, at least three or four minutes. Dwayne Prelo in to replace him. Their leading scorer and rebounder on the bench with four fouls. And Hersey Hawkins at the free throw line where he's five of five tonight. He averages 10 points per game at the charity stripe, has 35 points tonight. The senior from Chicago Westinghouse. His first miss of the evening. Now Bradley goes into the pressure. They don't have much choice, really. A bucket here would Ten. open up a 10-point lead. They didn't call it. Here's the pass to Hill. Fifteen points for Lou Hill. Hawkins. The call goes against the Braves. Dan Albeck is livid. Count the basket. After a conference between Woody Mayfield and J.C. Leinbach, Leinbach talked Mayfield into counting the basket. So the Braves get a little something out of it. But now with Wichita State in the bonus, they'll step up to the free throw line. The Shockers. 14 of 19 at the free throw line so far tonight. Eddie Fokler's team's been very productive there. They've cashed in. And they can still make it a 10-point lead, which they had a moment ago if Prelo can hit the one in bonus. 6.41 to go, and Hawk has four fouls. I think he's going to take a seat. Paul Wilson checking in for him. Hawkins hasn't fouled out of the game this year. Nope, he's going to stay in. Hawkins stays in. Wilson replaces Trevor Trimpe. No. Uh-oh. 85-75 with six and a half to play. Here's Wilson, number 23. His first appearance in the game. Manuel misses the three. Hawkins cleans up. But Wichita State strips it away. Griffin races down the floor to Hill. A 12-point lead. And Eddie Fogler says, get back. And we had a cheerleader take a pretty bad fall down there. I think they want to take care of her because someone nearly ran her over yeah. while she was being looked at by the Wichita State team trainers. So we've got an officials timeout and Wichita State has jumped out to an 87 to 75 lead. We'll pause here. It happened so funny right after breakfast. I remember I started sweating. I had some pains in my chest. I thought it was just indigestion and got up to get an antacid. But my wife knew about Methodist First Hour Emergency Heart Care, and we didn't wait. I was having a heart attack. 
only I just didn't know it. Learn the early warning signs, and don't give these signals a second thought. Act immediately. Methodist's first hour emergency heart care. Life-saving. It's the right place at the right time when the right day Couples starting Wednesday on News 25 at 6. This weekend, WEEK is the place to be for NBC College Basketball as DePaul battles Georgia Tech Saturday at 3 and Notre Dame plays Duke Sunday at 2.30. That's right here on WEEK. Well, the Braves in the polls showing up rather well. They're rated 13th by the Sporting News. 15th in the latest CNN USA Today poll and 18th by Sports Illustrated but today their highest ranking by the Associated Press 18 they were 21 last week so That's the Braves are getting some notice but they're also getting a real yeah. tough goal but right here they're down by 12 that's all very nice but uh, doesn't count too much when you get out on the court 613 to play Hawkins still out there with four fouls. Here's Wilson, pumps the three. In and out. Jeff, Steve Greer with the rebound. Ahead to Griffin. Now to Dwayne Prelo, who couldn't hold on. And that'll turn it back over. You better believe they'll go after Hawk, and if he tries to drive to the basket, they will set up and try and pick up the charge. Wilson had designs on a three, doesn't take it. Hawkins isn't open either. Manuel tries to create something. 5.45 to play. Manuel inside he goes and he uses the glass. It's a 10-point game again. And if Bradley's going to get back in this, they need somebody to pick it up because Hawk is playing with four fouls. And he probably won't be quite as aggressive as he was. He can't be or he'll foul out. Manuel with 11 points. Lou Hill goes inside. Another rebound for the Shockers and another foul on Bradley. This one's on Manuel. That's the second on Anthony. He's not in trouble yet. Came on the rebound. Lou Hill able to get by Jerry Thomas that time. One of the things Anthony does really well is go in there and take the ball away from the big guys. He got caught that time. Luke Jackson back in. He's also a foul problem. Has three, Donald Powell will be replaced by Jackson. And Dwayne Prelo's at the free throw line. Just to let you know very quickly, the uh, young lady who fell did get up and limp over to a chair by herself, the young Wichita State cheerleader. I know my mom would be worrying about her all night, so just to let you know, she's okay. Prelo with 20 points, and that is a career high for Dwayne Prelo, who up until this year had never even scored in double figures, but tonight has done it for the sixth time in the last month. Wilson got the three-pointer. So they've cut the lead back to single digits, 89-80 Wichita, but only five minutes to play. Dwayne Prelo inside, Grayer spinning, shooting, and hitting. Now, don't go away yet. Wichita State led by 11 in the final two minutes against ISU and ISU came back and made it a close game. Jackson throws it up too hard. Joe Griffin, the smallest player on the floor, is there for the rebound. Hill to Prelo. Good. If we told you somebody would score 100 tonight, you'd have thought it would be Bradley. But Wichita State has almost as many. Luke Jackson with the jam. A near steal. Hawkins is fouled out of the game. He's out. Come on. When you press, it's always a gamble. You gamble on giving up a layup. 
And you gamble on losing the big guy. He leaves with 37 points. But with 4.16 to play, it's the points he might have scored that are bigger. That's the first time this season that he has been fouled out of a game. That's what happens when you have to do so much by yourself and you're not getting a lot of help. You get involved so often that you're bound to draw some fouls against you. And he's been forced to do that tonight. Well, he didn't get the benefit of too many calls inside either. Griffin eyes it, shoots it, misses the second. 94-82 Bradley, down by 12 to Wichita State. Trimpy misses the three, the long rebound, back tap to Wilson. Loose, out of bounds, off the hands of Wichita State's Dwight Prelo, so the Braves will have it. Well, who do the Braves go to here? Does Anthony Manuel try to do it on his own? Will Luke Jackson come up with some big plays inside? Or will <laughs> Paul Wilson, who seems to be the heir apparent to Percy Hawkins next year, come through in the clutch? He no. couldn't hit the three. They're going to be putting them all up from behind that three-point line, I would bet you. We're down by 12 with 345 and counting. Wichita setting up high. Watch him on the back cut. They're going to try and use some of that clock with 335 to play. Bradley's lost to Memphis State and to Illinois State. And now Wichita State is 323 away from victory. They shouldn't schedule teams with the... Uh, State on the end, I guess. Grayer underneath. Does it again. Total dominance inside, I'd have to say. Here's Manuel outside, guarded by Gafrovich. And now a whistle. Dwight Prelo charged with the foul. We want a timeout, says Eddie Fogler, with his team up 96 to 82. Wichita State, and those 96 points is a season high for them. Fogler's team an athletic bunch, and they can score a lot of points when necessary. They have kept with the Braves every step of the way here. And we're going to see some sharp shooting. Jay Shell is going to check into the game for Bradley. Bradley came in here for the second night in a row, or the second game in a row. They've come in and faced a team that was in a shooting slump. Wichita State leads the Valley in field goal percentage and three-point percentage, but they'd only shot 39% in their last three games. They turned it on tonight. Tulsa turned it on the other night. And... Bradley just unfortunate to run into a team that's coming on an upswing. Percy Hawkins, our Bradley player of the game, North Point video player of the game with 35 tonight. Is that correct? We update that to 37. A one-man show, but this is a five-man game. We're going to see what Bradley's five can do here in the final. 308. they trail by 14. And Wichita State needs four points to go over the century mark for the first time since 1984 when Gene Smithson was here as the head coach. They didn't do it last year. If Bradley's going to have a chance, Paul Wilson needs to hit these free throws. The Braves have had trouble cashing in at the free throw line lately. They shoot 70% as a team from the free throw line, and Wilson only hits 55%. Pressure by Bradley. Here's the bounce in the front court, and a foul on Trevor Trimpey. And that's four on Trevor. Well, if you like the last couple of minutes of the Illinois State game at Bradley, I think you're going to love the last three minutes of this one. Bradley's going to stop the clock at every available opportunity. Lou Hill in for John Cooper as Gafrovich goes to the free throw line, or at least Dwight Prelo. Whole lot of shaking going on at that Wichita State bench right now. 
Still 3.02 left. And the Prelos have really cashed in at the free throw line tonight. Both of them. I'm really impressed with their ability to post up on the inside. Little guy is only 6'5", but they posted up well and really gave Bradley trouble. Loose ball recovered by Manuel. They say it bounced on the sideline. Belongs to Wichita State. Let's see if it did. Well, Anthony's foot was not on the sideline, and it didn't bounce on the sideline either. Well, was his toe on the sideline? That's it's right in front of us. There was at least enough there for a toothpick. Down to 255 to play, and Wichita's lead is 98 to 84. Joe Griffin continues the free throw shooting clinic. Now, that was one time Anthony could not afford to be the least bit sloppy with the ball. This will put him over the century mark. Wilson with the three. Good. They're still down 13. And a foul on Paul Wilson. Now Bradley, as I mentioned, going after the ball and trying to get a foul just as quickly as they can. A lot of time left, but the Braves are going to have to start hitting and hoping that the Shockers freeze up at the line. Griffin has it. Gutsy performance tonight by him. He's taking care of the ball, which is something he didn't do in Peoria, and he shot well. Hawkins can only watch. Now. Jay Shell in the ball game, number 25, the freshman from Stevens Point, the sharpshooter. Not too sharp on that shot. He's short. And a foul on Anthony Manuel. They've got all the gunners in there now. Shell hit that field goal at the buzzer against Wichita State back in Peoria. That was just icing on the cake. Now they need him to do it under pressure. Griffin back at the free throw line. No good. Shell with a big rebound. Let's see if the Braves can cash in. They're down by 15. 102 to 87. Trimpey with a man in his face. Woo. That's an NBA three-pointer from out there. That cuts the lead to 12. The Shockers will take as much time off the clock as they can. Here's Lou Hill with it in front of his own bench, number three. Manuel wanted to foul him, but he got it away in time. And now Radonovich is fouled by Paul Wilson, I think it was. Radonovich, a 73% free throw shooter, and Wilson yeah. sends him to the line. Wichita's got their good shooters out there. The Bradley coaches can only hope for some misses here. Radonovich with a dozen. Radonovich with 13. Still two minutes. Wichita with 21 points at the free throw line. Bradley with only seven. That tells the story. Yeah. That's playing at home. Percy Hawkins is on the bench. He fouled out with 37 points and about four minutes to play. Wilson with the acrobatic shot. Dwayne Prelo with the rebound. Griffin drives, passes out of bounds off Luke Jackson, so the Shockers will have it. And you can see the time remaining, and it's not enough if you're rooting for the red and white. I don't think so, but they have not given up. And that's good to see. This is... One of those must wins for Wichita State. If they were going to stay alive in the Valley, it's way too early to call the race over, but this is one they needed to have. It'll put them in first place, and Bradley in second. 
And now a collision under the basket results in Dwight Prelo and Paul Wilson on their fannies. That should foul Dwight Prelo out of the ball game. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> that's a, that's a, like a party game, isn't it? <laughs> Dwight Prelo fouls out with five points. One oh six to ninety. Wichita State leads by sixteen. They may want him to hit the first and miss the second intentionally. Let's see if Stan Albeck opts for that because they need a lot of points in a very little amount of time. Now he cans it. 106-92, Wichita on top. A bad pass, and Eddie Fogler should know he was hit with it. <laughs> Wonder, wonder what kind of group insurance package you got when he signed here. Wilson shoots around a man, a bad shot. He nearly dropped it though. Joe Griffin saves it to Radunovic. Fouled by Trevor Trimpey. And the Shockers will go back to the free throw line where you can uh, forward their mail. They've been there quite often. Trimpey fouls out with seven points. And it's getting a little sloppy. We'll see Mike Cash, number 41, check in. He's the sophomore from Lowell, Indiana. His third appearance of the year. Now you can see the disappointment written all over Trevor Trimpey's face. After coming off a, a tough win at Tulsa, they really wanted to get this one and come home with a sweep. Now Steve Bayless into the ball game for the Braves, number 34, the freshman from Chillicothe, Ohio. Anthony Manuel. They're throwing in the towel on this one with 112 to play. There's not enough time to make up the 107-92 deficit. Anthony with a gutsy performance tonight. That knee's bothering him. Bayless drives, lays it up, no good. Griffin with a rebound. To Radinovich. Shell with a three. Wilson there to collect the carom, 50 seconds to play. Lou Hill was fouled by Cash. Well, it's garbage time. And Eddie Fogler finally feels comfortable enough to put in somebody besides his big studs. Radonovich with a good evening's work. Aaron Davis takes his place. And Dwayne Prelo, who had a career night, is also out of the ball game. Let's check the totals on Dwayne Prelo, who leaves with 22 that betters his previous career high by eight hill at the free throw line now padding his stats cedric coleman who used to be a mainstay here at wichita state the senior from columbia south carolina has seen very little action this year he played 25 games as a freshman and has played fewer each year since 40 seconds left to go. <laughs> Lil Hill should take up baking because he just put the icing on the cake. Well, that's an image the Bradley Braves will not forget. And look at Lou Hill. Not over, but the Shockers are celebrating a big win. A real big win. They've scored 113 points against 18th ranked Bradley exclamation point 
thanks to Lou Hill. That's very pretty, but Bradley will remember this. And uh, don't forget the Valley Tournament's in Peoria. Down to our final 27 seconds and a lot of unfamiliar faces in the ball game. Brent Bass is one of them and he steps up to the free throw line, appearing in only his sixth game of the year. He's a sophomore from Hamilton High School in Elmsford, New York. One fifteen ninety two. Shell with the heave. Tom Kozich, an Illinois native, collects the carom and he's fouled by Steve Bayless. The only Bradley regular who's still in the ball game is Luke Jackson. Kozic from Calumet City, Illinois. And the fifth year senior drains the first free throw. I wonder what would have happened if he were able to play the last four minutes. Although the Shockers had built up an enormous lead before he fouled out. A violation there. I didn't quite catch it there wasn't much of an indication what happened not that it's crucial Mike Cash off the mark Bayless is there short on the rebound Wilson fights for it we're running out of time Bass at the buzzer short but Wichita State scores 116 points and teaches Bradley a lesson 116.92. We'll be back to wrap it up from Wichita in a minute. University Ford is Peoria's used car headquarters. Plus, with our seven-day exchange program, bring it back if you're not completely satisfied. Drive home this loaded 87 Aerostar XLT for only $12,789. Like Larry, Moe, and Curly, fast cars and fancy shoes. Like Buffalo Bob and a lucky dog, and like cats who sing the blues. I'm an American original, the first draft beer in a can, tap an ice cold pours with a friend of yours. Brewery Fresh Draft Beer in Bottles and Cans. That's been Coors for over 25 years. Taste the original today. Put a 12-ounce keg in your hand. Think about your life, where you've been, and where you're going. To the new vice president. Today, you need more than life insurance. You need a financial plan to take you where you want to go. We're Mass Mutual, and we insure more than lives. We insure success. In Peoria, call Paul H. Herzog of the Central Illinois Agency. Brown Sporting Goods has hundreds of super fitness values to help you shape up and save. The Weslow Relay 880 treadmill has all the most wanted features, including variable speed adjustment, a 10-function work center that includes time, speed, distance, and a two-function pulse monitor, plus a gas-assisted incline adjustment, a complete system for only $499.88. You save $200. For fitness, it's Brown's. Brown Sporting Goods for the games you play. Valerie's family at a special time tonight at 9.30. Our final score in Wichita tonight. Wichita 116, Bradley 92. And that puts the Shockers in first place in the Missouri Valley Conference with a record of 5-2. The Braves dropped to 4-2. Hersey Hawkins with 37 points, fouled out of the ball game with about four minutes to play. Wayne Prelo led the way for the Shockers with 24.
For Lee Hall, for our director, Tom Opperman, this is Mark Strauss at Henry Levitt Arena, wishing you a pleasant good evening. Thanks for joining us. Wichita State wins it, 116-92. You start driving down the value month after month. With most auto insurance, total a car two years later and you just get the used car value. But with Country Company's Keeper Policy, if your car is wrecked beyond repair, you get a brand new car. Same make and model, even if it costs more than you paid at first. So get the country behind you. You got the Country Company. Joe, did you know that Diphenate Insecticide gave more dependable rootworm control than Furidan or Lorsban? No, no I didn't. I'm going with Diphenate next time. Diphenate, for stand-up control. Jim, did you know that Diphenate gave more dependable rootworm control than Furidan or Lorsban? No, I didn't. Next year, Diphenate. Diphenate, for stand-up control. Hi, I'm Dean Grimm. Back in 1920, when Grimm TV and Appliance first opened their doors, my grandfather, father, and uncles began to build a reputation for Grimm's, offering their customers fair prices, backed by good service and customer satisfaction. That family